Listen up. Okay. The title of this year's poem is. Louder. The title of this year's poem is My Dream. <laughs> Twas the night of Thanksgiving, but I just couldn't sleep. I tried counting backwards, I tried counting sheep. The leftovers beckoned, the dark meat and white, but I fought the temptation with all of my might. At my stage of life, I disdained being fatter, but weren't there some orange peels left on the platter? Ooh. Perhaps just a couple and a forkful of dressing, a bit of potatoes, some meat, what a blessing. <laughs> well, once I got going, there was really no stopping. I gobbled up everything. Come here, you whip topping. <laughs> I felt myself swelling so plump and so round till all of a sudden I rose off the ground. <laughs> Bobbing and floating my brain in a tailspin, I crashed through the ceiling like a blonde human zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> With a mouthful of pudding and a handful of pie, the ground fell away and I launched into the sky. <laughs> By magic and dream dust and voluminous girth, my body was flying as if Google Earth. Below I could see with astounding precision, but wait, a white heron must avoid a collision. <laughs> well, as long as it's my dream, I'd go someplace fairer where the surfers are cute and the clothes a bit bare. <laughs> Head south to the islands to check out the beachiness. Like Sister Betrayal, without all the preachiness. <laughs> I found myself floating above Sandy Key when I spotted our Marcus down on one knee. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a fun wedding across the Atlantic. <laughs> I left the two lovebirds to kiss on each other and went to find Ashley and her fairy godmother. Just as suspected, Ash was over at Necker discussing with Richard how best to connect her. <laughs> Should she stay on Necker with Nat and Gordo, where the tips more than cover her room in Bordeaux. <laughs> or she could stay in London, finish college online while remodeling the offices of Virgin Airlines. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's also the offer of designing Mosquito, where guests will live green while drinking mojitos. <laughs> Whatever she does, she would earn a king's ransom if she would just introduce Steve to Sir Richard Branson. <laughs> I sped over continents. I sped over continents like the woman of wonder to visit the land we all know as down under. As a caring and loving and vest-wearing auntie, Aww. I felt it my duty to check on a young Allie. Surprisingly, I found her at a wild frat party. I, the campus library must have closed a bit early. I ordered two shots, one for Al, one for me, and we rocked it all night to AC slash DC. <laughs> There was Jesse in Spain and Adam in France, Ginger on stage and Steve at his camp, Cooper in Chicago working for Obama, Nina taking photos of the beautiful Bahamas. <laughs> to Anna and Joey and Megan and Ben, I ran out of time to fit you all in <laughs> because now I was waking in Granny's old room over at Campbell Street 422. Pickle was sniffing, but I just couldn't face her. Steve and the Quimpsby, already out in the glacier. <laughs> my head was a pounding, my brain a fiesta. I knew I shouldn't have taken that Lunesta. <laughs> Let's get up and pretend that I'm perfectly fine, that I'm impervious to gallons of wine. <laughs> Find Jenny and talk her into the cure which is going to Chuck's for cheeseburgers and beer. <laughs> That's the best ever. It was beautiful. Here is to Karen, our greatest home writer. Yay.